Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Azure Image Analysis Python SDK with the Azure services we've already built out. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have that Azure services URL and key and throw it into your EMV file. And some of the cool features that we'll be working with is objects, captions, and dense captions, as well as being able to read text from an image. It also has the ability to do some cool things like smart crop, notice some people, and uh, do tags. And uh, I may do a later video on that, but currently we're just gonna focus on some of the, the core concepts. Next, we're gonna wanna be able to do a pip install of the Azure AI vision image analysis. That's gonna allow us to analyze these images that we're gonna pass through. So then we're gonna wanna load up the env file, set some variables for the endpoints and the keys, and now we get to the good stuff. So getting the objects. This is going to load an image with a butterfly on a sunflower with a moon in the background. Uh, we can take a look at it here. It's gonna load up this image and then it's gonna tell us some stuff about it. So we're gonna analyze the image and then we're gonna tell it to show us the objects in this image. And this CV2 is just the uh, open CV Python. So it allows us to analyze images, draw on images and render images as we'll see. So we're gonna read that image in and then we're gonna get the values from the response of the analyze. And then we're just gonna loop through those values. And as part of those values, it gives us a bounding box of where that those individual objects are within the image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that bounding box and we're just gonna draw on that image and that text. And we're gonna draw the text and the box on the image. So if I were to play this, I found a butterfly with a confidence of 83% roughly. Found a sunflower and then also a flower. So that was pretty, uh, pretty quick, pretty painless as far as being able to use it while, uh, I mean, just setting up the Azure AI service and then uh, calling the analyze endpoint with a, with an image. That's, that's pretty neat. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is let's grab some captions on this. So we're going to get an overall caption for the picture. And then we're also going to get a dense caption of the, uh, for the bounding boxes. So to do that, I'm going to uncomment this, let's scroll back up. So for this one, we're going to say analyze. And for the features that we're going to pass into this analyze, we're going to say caption and dense caption. And same thing, we're gonna load up that image. We're gonna get the dense caption results. Uh, as part of the dense caption, it actually gives us a bounding box as well. So we will uh, take that caption and draw, draw that caption on the screen with a bounding box. And so if I run that, let's see what that looks like. So we get a little bit more things going on here. We can see that the image overall is a butterfly on a flower. And then some of the dense captions are pretty interesting. So a close up left person leg, eh, probably not right, but uh, it does get quite a few other things right. So a close up of a flower, a blue butterfly, a uh, close up of a clock. So, I mean, it's not the smoothest. I'll show in a later video how we can uh, create or train a model so that it'll be a little more accurate overall. But again, for being kind of just out of the box, it's doing some pretty neat things. All right, so the last one here is we're going to have a picture with a sign in Spanish, and we're just going to have it read that sign. And so as part of that sign reading, it's going to give us what's called the blocks, and that's going to be kind of like a sentence. And then it'll take that sentence and break it down into the words. And at each level, it also gives us a bounding box of where those words are within the picture and where the sentence is within the picture. So we're going to load up that image again. We're going to go through every one of those blocks. And for each line in that block, we're going to draw its rectangle. So we're going to outline the sentence. And then we're going to look for every word within that sentence. And we're going to draw a square around that word as well. So if we take a look, quick look at that. We can see that it found the, uh, I don't know, the warning sign. I don't really speak Spanish, but I think this is pretty cool though. So you can see that it uh, was able to identify the individual words in green and then the sentences overall in red. So now you can imagine where you can start to play with some of this. So the idea being, I'm in a foreign country, I don't really speak the language. 
hey, I have this little app that can recognize signs, recognize Eng like recognize uh, words on an image. And we can now take that and send it off into a different Azure AI service called Azure AI Translate and have it translate it to English. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. Uh, but now when you start to pair them together, that's when it becomes really powerful. And that is all there is to being able to start using this AI service that we built out with just a couple API calls in Python and getting some of those results back. Let me know if you have any questions below. Thanks.